Here are some notes on meconium aspiration syndrome. This is a respiratory disorder caused by inhaling meconium-stained amniotic fluid during delivery. It can lead to respiratory distress, hypoxemia, and respiratory acidosis. And meconium contains gastrointestinal secretions, disquamated cells, lanugo hair, and fatty substances. Its color comes from bile pigments. It's black to green colored, and intestinal meconium begins in the first trimester. Some risk factors, the highest risk is in post-term deliveries. Your risk can be as high as 27% compared to 16.5% at term. Some ethnicities like black and South Asian, C-sections are higher risk, low APGAR scores, maternal fever, intra-amniotic infection, breach deliveries. The pathophysiology involves fetal stress that triggers meconium release in the intestine and increased peristalsis and anal sphincter relaxation. Some causes may include umbilical cord compression or hypoxia. There are some signs. You'll have meconium-stained amniotic fluid and respiratory depression in the baby. Symptoms include cyanosis, abdominal breathing, nasal flaring, grunting, tachypnea, intercostal and subxiphoid retractions, and barrel-shaped chest. Some possible complications include airway obstruction, inflammation, infection, respiratory failure, and in severe cases, you can have pneumothorax, persistent pulmonary hypertension, and potential death of the baby. Some prevention strategies, again, avoid that top risk factor, post-term deliveries. Intrapartum fetal heart monitoring can help, and amnio infusions can help in cases of moderate to thick meconium-stained fluid.